All right, so today we're going to fire up the hardened furnace here, smelting furnace, and see how this operates. This will be my first time using this, so I'm going to go ahead and get all the dust and everything off of this thing. Um, got my tongs, got my mold here, and we're just going to do about five ounces of silver melting. <clears throat> Crucible. Now this thing is supposedly hold up to three kilograms. So, uh, like I said, we're just going to do a small batch of silver and see how it operates. And I tried finding some instructions online. Of course, this thing came with like somebody's, you know, interpretation of the instructions. And uh, as you can see, uh, maybe you can't. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. It's rather uh, interesting the control panel. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do a little tutorial, a little step-by-step -step on how to operate this machine. But there's the information, Harden F180. And we'll see how it turns out. And I've got my five ounces of scrap silver here. And the first step is going to be to put it in the crucible. I don't know if you can see that, but there's five ounces of silver in there. So once you got your silver in, we'll go ahead and fire this thing up. Let's see if I can get off the Close the lid. Now this particular person said that they've started it, had a set to 200 degrees. So this here is what the setting is, 200, and this is the current temperature. And I'm hoping that that's in uh, in Fahrenheit degrees. So it's at 17, whatever. And we're going to 200. Now, because he said that uh, this is a new motherboard and all that stuff in there, that he has it set for a warm up period of 200 degrees, and then we know that it's set for 200. So if it's above 200, once it reaches, we let it sit for three minutes. If it goes above that, we know to reduce that. A difference um, in our overall temperature when we go up to 1800 degrees to melt the silver because you do not want to go and overheat the unit so like if you were melting gold and you set the temperature for gold that's pretty much going to max the unit out and if it's set for whatever you know 2100 degrees or whatever and it's you know a difference of 50 degrees then you can actually melt or ruin the temp the uh, motherboard and then the sensors and stuff on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and let that climb. We're already at 35, 36, and uh, so when it gets to 200, I'll get back to you. All right, so we've reached beyond our 200 degrees Celsius, and again, that was Celsius and not Fahrenheit. So it actually went up to 285 and now it's cooling back down to 200 and so when it's between 240 and 200 you're going to go ahead and go up to the next stage and the reason we're doing this warm-up period is because we're setting and sealing the clay that uh, is inside the the furnace and since this is our first go 
it's important that you do that. And it's also important that you put your material into the crucible while you're doing this because that will actually take away some of the heat. And um, so now we're going to go ahead and do the next stage, which should be about uh, 600 degrees. So we're going to hit the set button. And then we're going to raise the temperature to 600. And we've you can hear it humming. I hope that's a good thing. So it's probably going to heat back up and it should start climbing here in a minute. The hum has disappeared, so it looks like it's activated. and I'll get back to you once it gets up a little uh, closer. All right, so we've reached the 600 mark. Now we're gonna go up to the next stage, which is, uh, I believe, 800 degrees. So we'll do the same thing. We'll hit the set button, and we'll take this up to 800. And we'll hit set. And I'll go ahead and get back to you once it starts climbing. Okay, so now we've reached about 800 degrees Celsius. It's actually cooled back down a little bit lower. So we're going to go ahead and set the uh, temperature to melt the silver that's inside, which will be around. 1018 degrees or at least on the reading that's what it should be so we're going to go ahead and hit set and we're going to go up to 1018 all right and we're already starting to climb again so the instructions tell me that right around a thousand degrees celsius to look at the temperature readout and there should be a blinking light now they're saying that this light will go off and should when the temperature reader is at the desired uh, temperature setting so I'm kind of confused by that I don't see any light I haven't seen any lights flashing so I guess we'll see what happens I see some spots here um, I'm not sure what those read, but we'll keep an eye on. You can actually see it better than I can on the camera here. So we'll keep a keep an eye on that. All right, I'll get back to you around a thousand degrees. All right, so we're almost to a thousand degrees Celsius. We'll see what happens with that light. Let me see if I can get in the way of the... So we've hit a thousand degrees and the light's not flashing. And the other thing is I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to keep... <laughs> keep the temperature or keep the machine running at this uh, at this temperature to fully melt the silver because I know it can't be instant because the melting point is you know that particular temperature so I'm assuming a few minutes I have I don't I don't know how long it takes for the metal to melt so that that will huh, we'll just have to see what happens I'll take a peek inside in about uh, 10 minutes, I guess, and see what happens. Oh, so a light just went off. I guess that means we've reached our temperature. So I'm gonna let it sit there. 
And uh, just a note, I'm noticing that the smell is getting stronger. Obviously, something's happening inside. It's probably the heating element, but it um, could also be the metal itself heating up and releasing its, its uh, own signature smell here. So as you can see, the temperature is still climbing. So I guess I'll let that sit and I'll get back to you. All right, so we're gonna take a peek inside. It's still actively at the uh, melting temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and put our fire resistant gloves on real quick. And just kind of open the top and take a peek inside. All right, so I see a little smoke coming out of the top. That may not be a good sign, so let's go ahead and peek in here. Okay, and I think we're at that point. <clears throat> so the next thing to do is going to be to heat up our mold. And I'm going to use a mat torch to do that, so stand by. Okay, so it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. But let's see what we can do. Make sure you wear gloves because that is super hot. Let that cool off and I'll be back. All right, so we went ahead and cooled that down. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. And we're gonna use a little vinegar and salt pickle. So there's the silver bar. It's pretty dirty. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and pickle it. Alright, so we're using a, a Dremel. It's been pickled for about an hour or two. And we're using a Dremel tool here. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually the wire brush. Let's see if we can do that. Wire brush. And it's actually taking the very fine white layer off of the uh, silver bar. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up.
And there's the bar with just a quick abrasion. That's without any polish, it's just cleaning it up. So now we're going to do the polish and see what happens. Alright, so we went ahead and polished it all up. And there's my first silver bar. Not bad for a first try. I mean, the bottom needs some little work, but, you know, melting and doing the pour is <laughs> kind of a precise science, so it takes some practice, as with everything else. So not bad for my first go. Alright, thanks for watching.